I remember that when I met you, we were at the Chamber of Commerce, and you approached me, and you asked to meet with me, and you had a meeting with me at a coffee shop, and it was yeah. fun. Yeah. So um, when I first met you, I believe we were actually at the uh, the automotive shop where they hosted the greeters and stuff like that here in Medford, and uh, you were high energy and stuff like that, and you like zipped up there, and you did like I think 25 seconds or your 30 seconds. And then you're like, I'm out of here. And what was fascinating is that there was a lot of different people that do um, video. There's a lot of people that do photography uh, in chambers in different kinds of networking like that. Uh, but not all of them have bar barking dogs in the background. So there is that. They just got there. <laughs> um, so your, your um, energy and stuff like that was one of the things that I noticed first um, because a lot of individuals are kind of nervous and stuff like that as far as it goes. What, what makes you distinctly different than um, other individuals that you've met in the industry? Like so you mentioned uh, about the high energy and me getting up there and kind of performing and um, being confident in that space. Actually, before I even approached film, I was doing theater. I had always looked for the medium that communicated to me the most. And at that time, theater was really it until I realized writing screenplays was the very perfect structure. So I went and I studied film, but I did it from an actor's perspective. And I think that's kind of the approach that I take when I create this content is that everything that I make for anyone, no matter what, is based on character development and creating characters that represent you and in a way are real. And so that's kind of the difference between me and other people is um, the kind of emotional structure that I create with every piece that I do. Nice. And I think there was something a little bit different also because I never, um, I never heard of the hero's journey before. And we sat down and we had talked and stuff and it, it seemed to me like you use the hero's journey you structure that a little bit differently or there there are a, a many narrative structures and studies from every different time period and location on earth uh, but one that really stuck with me was joseph campbell's uh, a hero's journey and the idea behind that book is that joseph campbell studies all literature from greek mythology to modern film and also additionally psychology and psychological theories at least as far as they developed in the 1940s and he created a structure that was similar um, or related to every piece that he'd read. He found commonalities in everything and developed a structure that then was adapted and used in Hollywood and used in all narratives, novels, anything. And so I studied that very thoroughly. And I also included different things that I had learned through my experience in college and the three act structure and different theories in regard to that and related to Aristotle and Shakespeare. And I use that in anything from a 30 second spot to a full length feature film. I, I use that in everything that I do and it's proven effective. Are there other options to the hero, hero's journey? The way that I had done it is, is everyone can take it and they can adapt it to the way that they use it. I've actually taken the hero's journey and other three-act structures, as they call it. They call it a three-act structure. And um, I've combined my understanding personally and my own personal experience with a three-act structure and with the hero's journey to create my own narrative structure that I use. And it's helped me kind of come to my own understanding. And I'm sure that other people have their own individual things, but I actually have a diagram that I use and I have um, work that I've created that fleshes that out that I can actually show as a viewable work that I've done that I, I check off. It's a checklist. It, it's, it's actually an image because it's the way the, the structure works is, is every narrative that you're, you're kind of creating. Um, if you think about it visually and you have a circle and you start up here in the world setup, your idea is that you go through this journey, you have this call to adventure, and then you have this road of trials, and then you go all the way back home, and those those phases mirror each other. So it, it's, it's a whole um, extensive theory that I've developed with, obviously, the help of my studies in film. So. That's fascinating. How, how important is the the knowledge about that to your clients or is it more important in just structuring things properly so um 
it has a good value to your clients? Well, there's a lot of reasons to structure in that way. So the first thing is when you have a structure and you write a script that you can read effectively, then you can determine what the problems are with that production right there. Anyone at any level of the industry who has any experience whatsoever from their first film to big studios, uh, they'll tell you that the problems that you generally encounter in post-production are the same ones that you encountered in the script. So when you follow the structure and you get it down and you write a script based on that, that's the most important part is once you have that structure, you can then use that blueprint and make sure that as long as you're capturing audibly and visually, whatever is on that page, right? And you can just check it off. You can literally check it off. Use that script as a checklist. Once you get a shot, you go, okay, that's the shot I've got. That part of the script is captured. And if you have a good script and then you check it off as you capture it, and at the end you go, boom, that's my last shot. We've effectively captured this script. The script is good. What that does is it, it makes sure that you have a quality project in the end. And so creating that structure and then following through with it helps in that way. And it also helps you keep organized, right? So when you're doing things like this with so many moving parts, the important thing is that you are acting efficiently and you have documentation. So it's not just about the narrative structure, it's also about how it's formatted on the page and the way that you can look at it and say, okay, here are the resources I need to accomplish that. So by working efficiently, you can end up creating a project that then fulfills whatever marketing goals the company has. Okay. Does that answer the question? I believe so. So, you know, there's a lot of individuals out there that I don't think they really understand what good video is. Um, if you're hired on by somebody, you know, I figure there's, there's two ways of, of producing a product and, and tell me if I'm wrong, but, one would be the the client and what the message they want out there and then the other would be producing content that um that their audience needs to hear that message or whatever that offering is uh, what do you think about that as far as the value um, well i think that <clears throat> when a client has a message that they would like to communicate to their audience. Um, the, the first thing we've got to do, right, is we've got to be like, okay, if we're making this video, what I want are trackable goals. So what I'm working with people a lot on is going, okay, this is what you want. By the end of it, what does finished look like? Did you increase your um, traffic to your website? And if so, by how much? Did the percentage of increase accomplish the goals that you wanted? I, I value very much what my clients are trying to accomplish. And that's why I break it down to little pieces. Kind of the same way that I do a narrative structure is I'll break it down and I'll say, okay, where are we starting? We need to take this ultimate goal and we need to break it into a structure so that we can determine where our next steps are individually. And so that we can also track where we're coming from and where we're going. What kind of pro projects do you like the most as far as the types of projects that you've done thus far? The projects that I like the most are the ones that create positive change. So my most successful projects will have a positive impact beyond just what they're created for. They have a positive impact in the community. And so what that means is that if I can create a project that creates positive social change, that is a success in the highest form. So when I'm working with companies to create pieces for people with intellectual disabilities and I can convince somebody uh, of the value of understanding that people with disabilities are already in the community and that they have a unique perspective or creating content that inspires an organization to be more inclusive to people who are different than them. You know, social goals like that are really important to me. And so those are my favorite projects. Um, if I had a product or service that I wanted to offer um, in the community, um, what kind of, um, does it matter what type of product or service it is and how would you utilize the hero's journey to offer, deliver a clear message 
or call to action for a product or service. So it really doesn't matter what it is as long as it's providing value. I have a firm belief that every business, no matter what you're doing, and everybody who works every job is providing value to the community, and that person's life and that person's story is very important. There's um, this idea in literature that if you come up with your worst idea, it can be a really good idea. And I think that that plays into this concept that there is no such thing as a bad story ever. Anything can be made into a story that's compelling. And so when you are providing a service, no matter what it is, it has value and there's something about what you do that helps the community and that provides for the people that you support, no matter what it is. How does a well-crafted story uh, around video content really um, aid a company or one of your clients in really developing their external culture um, or following? Massively. So here, here's the deal that, that I think is really important. When you create high quality content, okay, and you really actually commit, what you need to do is you need to follow up with that. Okay, so don't just do one piece and then put it out and then ignore it, right? Because one ad doesn't, doesn't cut it. You're going to, you, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll say, look, we really want to advertise for this. So we'll put something out. They put something out. They're like, okay, there's that ad. Now we're going to focus on something else. The important thing is to follow up and to make sure that the quality of content reflects the quality of product that you have. And what I mean by that is you need to be the authority in your field and you can do that by investing in video marketing. So if you create video marketing for the internet or for television, you can reach all around the world. And so what happens when people from all around the world look at the high quality content that you produce that reflects the things that you do is they go, oh, that must be a leader in their industry. And so now all of a sudden companies that couldn't hire, even though they didn't make an ad for hiring, people who just left college who study what this company does will go, Actually, because that's the leader in the industry, I want to do that. And even if you're in a place like Grants Pass, you can start to bring people in from outside. You can get a better workforce, you can get better customers, and you can start to expand in every way. And it has magical, wonderful effects. It's fascinating because right now there's special, very, very special opportunities that exist uh, especially if you're on a platform that is a bid-based system and your competition has removed their advertising dollars from that space. There's some really special opportunities there. And, you know, you have the written word, text is great. You have an image is worth how many words? I, it depends. Is it moving? <laughs> <laughs> That's called video. <laughs> and do you have a saying... You have a, um, a tagline. What's your tagline? Anyone can talk about what makes them great, but the truly great, show it. So right now, I think it's even more important than ever to actually show what, um, what is great about what it is that you do. And one of the fascinating pieces, too, you were talking about the ongoing marketing needed and stuff like that, not stopping that momentum. But what is that consultation value? What is that value that you additionally bring to your clients and helping them understand opportunity and how to actually best use and, and put themselves out there? Well, so right now specifically, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm assisting companies in these consultations in not just defining what they want from me, but actually in giving them free advice and how to develop their own video strategies. And so you're, so you're literally saying right now, you're not just going out and shooting some um, amazing footage. You're saying that you're helping customers right now in this very difficult time to curate or create their own content and then you help them structure that into a compelling message that is worth actually you know, getting out there and people consuming that content. Yes. I am assisting people in developing their projects and working from everything. So there are five stages of production, development, pre-production, production, post-production, post and distribution. I can help you with all of those stages, and if you choose to, I can also take that workload. That's where I come in with my offer. 
Otherwise, I will help you and just get on a call with you and tell you if you want how to do all of that by yourself because I think it's very important that you stay operational. I think one very important element to that, one thing that is absolutely vital is providing video. Um, this has been great and you bring a phenomenal value to everybody that you work with and I think every project that you touch, you did an amazing job um, at our first expo and putting all of that together. And um, can't wait to see uh, more of the projects that we'll put together for customers and for the community overall. Uh, that's everything for now from uh, V3 Connect, uh, which is our uh, business referral platform. And uh, this is a great uh, interview with the phenomenal Joshua Kennedy, Kennedy Film and Photo.